Nearly a year ago, we were moved by the images from Japan, the horror of the earthquake and tsunami aftermath. At the time, experts warned a similar scenario could play out here in our state. Tonight, we have new information that changes that. Couple Force Michelle Esteban has the latest worst case scenario for the Pacific Northwest. Michelle? Well, Mary, we know the experts agree it's not a matter of if, but when. And now we're learning that big one could be even bigger and badder than first thought. Consider Japan our wake up call. Right now, the technology is telling us we should be prepared. We should prepare for something like we saw in Japan. Scientists say when the next big one hits here, it could be something straight out of your nightmares. There will be a lot of destruction. Hidden under the Pacific Ocean is a ticking time bomb. The whole coastline uh, of Washington State and Oregon and part of California is uh, sitting against uh, the huge subduction zone, which can create very similar tsunami and earthquake uh, as we saw in Japan. And now, new data just collected from Japan's damaged coastline warn seismologists that the next mega quake to hit the Pacific Northwest could be even bigger than first thought. So it means we'll probably get a little more shaking the next time there's a great earthquake here. John Vidale, the state seismologist and a UW professor, says researchers were surprised to learn this week that the strongest shaking in Japan's quake came from the deepest part of the subduction zone, not the shallow region as scientists expected. And that's more of a problem for us than for Japan because the deeper part of our fault is actually under the land, under the cities. Whereas in Japan, the action was mostly offshore. Vidali says it's too soon to say how much of an effect that extra shaking will have. But he insists, regardless of the strength, our preparation doesn't change. The Cascadia subduction zone is about the size of Maine. It's a geological copycat of the zone that ruptured in Japan. Experts believe 90% of the damage and 99% of the deaths in Japan were caused by the tsunami. The consequences of Cascadia will be more than, um, than just a city, but they will be across a region um, that potentially could affect 10 million people. If power isn't lost in the quake, blaring tsunami sirens might give you roughly a 10-minute warning that a monster wall of water is coming. A tsunami could carve right through the Strait of Juan de Fuca, flooding everything from the Pacific to Bellingham, including rivers that connect to the ocean. The Olympic Mountains and Puget Sound choke points protect cities like Seattle from the worst of tsunamis generated offshore. This takes 15 minutes for it to rise. But Dr. Eddie Bernard, former director of NOAA's Pacific Marine Environmental Lab, says the energy could bring enormous waves into the sound, destroying Seattle's waterfront flooding Terminal Island and bringing down the viaduct. If the quake doesn't get the viaduct, Tim Walsh says something called liquefaction might. That happens when water pressure builds up in soft soil because of violent ground shaking. Watch what happens when we add water to this sand foundation and shake. Walsh says a big quake will trigger landslides across the region, shearing homes right off their hillside perches. Even the initial quake itself will feel like an eternity, nothing like the 2001 Nisqually quake that rocked Seattle. Seismologist Bill Steele says it could be four minutes of long roller coaster waves of shaking. And that's most dangerous for tall buildings, long bridges, and above ground pipelines that won't be able to survive the prolonged tremors. We'll see shaking well in excess of the force of gravity and horizontal shaking. Mm. You won't be able to stand. Japan's quake and tsunami may have been our wake-up call. The new research suggests now, more than ever, is the time to prepare. And when you start to feel the earth shake, you have to spring into action. This isn't something you wait and get confirmation from somebody. You just take off because the consequences of not taking off in this particular type of phenomenon is you die. Badali says he believes the new data regarding the intense action coming from the deepest part of the fault is reliable because scientists found that very same pattern in the deadly quakes in Chile and Sumatra. I'm Michelle Esteban, Como for News.